All right, we're gonna clean some vinyl in this video. We've got two different kinds of mold going on. And then just some regular grime and whatnot. So this right here, if you can see, is pink mold. It's just starting. This is just the regular mold. And right over here, I've got a little pink mold. Right here. And uh, then I've got these spots that I don't think I'm going to be able to remove, uh, but we'll try. I've got some mold here. I've got some mold here. This mold, your typical product, like um, right here also, it's like these little spotty mold spots. Uh, the typical mold remover doesn't work. Uh, I've purchased uh, Marine 31, I'll show you that. Uh, of course, all these are new. Uh, and these front cushions are in pretty darn good shape. There's no pink mold, thank God, but there is some of this spotting. I don't think we're gonna have any luck getting the spotting out. But let's talk about, uh, let's talk about this pink mold uh, for a minute, and then I'll show you uh, the cleaners that I'm gonna use for everything except the pink mold. This video is not about pink mold. It's about just the regular mold and testing this product called Marine 31. And then I'll show you the process I use with, what's it called, uh, we put it on wounds. Um, hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide neutralizes the chlorine in the vinyl product, vinyl cleaning product. It's just very safe. I'll show you the whole thing. But I wanted to talk about this pink mold real quick while I showed it to you. Uh, we're not gonna do it in this video because I haven't gotten the product yet. We'll do it in, um, in a future video. So pink mold is actually a bacteria. It's within the cushion. It likely came with your boat. It came with the cushion. Uh, some higher end boating manufacturers use a biocide in their, in their vinyl uh, production that prevents it. The lower end companies don't. Some of the older boat manufacturers don't. And, um, even companies that are higher end that use the biocide, sometimes you still get it here and there. It uh, feeds off of sunblock and um, sweat, uh, you know, body sweat, the skin that skin cells, uh, pretty much like here. You can see I got my arm on the thing here. So I would be feeding uh, this particular bacteria uh, if it was in the cushion and I was sitting here like this. So you generally find it around the tops of cushions, around where your arms would hit, places like that. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a bacteria, and what's actually happening is the bacteria is dying, and that's producing the pink color. Boating Magazine had an article on this, and what it is, uh, it's one of the only references that I could find on the internet. I read all about it, uh, and uh, what happens is it can only live with two conditions, fresh water and uh, sunlight. So when you introduce salt water or chlorine or um, you know, other things that could kill it, as it dies, it produces this pink discharge and that discharge gets wicked up through the vinyl. Uh, so what's happening is actually down in the foam and over time the vinyl wicks the pink uh, to the surface. For whatever reason, this particular dye is resistant to chlorine uh, Nothing that I've used removes it. There is a product uh, made by, by some company, I can't remember the name. I did buy the product, it's $60 for this tiny little tube. The tiny little tube does seven square inches of staining, which just seems, you know, I don't know what their magic formula is, but I guess they can charge whatever they want because uh, they're the only company that makes anything for this pink mold. That's the do-it-yourself kit for 60 bucks delivered. Um, we're gonna do that in an upcoming video. They also provide a service where they come out to you and they uh, give you, um, they, they do it for you. And they have basically the same solution from what their website says, uh, slightly modified for their equipment, which is this UV light system that produces a certain wavelength of UV light along with some heat and a particular uh, length of time on an interval. I think they said that they do it five times. There is a YouTube video on it. 
and that'll get rid of it in one day but obviously it's more expensive I think they said the minimum is four hundred dollars to come out and treat some spots so in a future video we're gonna do this pink mold thing if you have it and you're interested stay tuned um, but for this video we're I'm just really gonna go through the process of uh, cleaning your boat down with a chlorine based product um, like I showed you, the regular chlorine-based products don't work. This Marine 31 is supposed to work. We'll see. Uh, and what I'm saying is they don't work on the type of staining that I have, that uh, little speckled type mold staining. And then I treat the entire area with hydrogen peroxide, which I believe further whitens it, but mostly it gets rid of the chlorine. It's, it stops the chlorine from eating up your vinyl and your stitching. Uh, and then we're gonna wash it with a pH neutral soap, or pine in this case, and uh, ooh, a nice mullet jumped over there. So stay tuned. That's what this video is about. Thanks for watching. Marine 31, mildew stain remover. I don't know what is uh, special about this. Spray onto the surface, allow one to three minutes, if necessary, agitate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I'm actually out of the uh, typical cleaner that I was using. It was a Starbright cleaner, and it didn't. It doesn't work. It does remove some mold. But that speckly mold that I showed you doesn't remove that. Here's the hydrogen peroxide. It comes in a spray bottle. It's a rather expensive way to buy it. Uh, you could buy it and put it in a spray bottle if you wanted. You know, like an old uh, spray bottle. I thought I had one around here somewhere. But um, I bought this style so that I could just spray it right on. And then, because I'm not going to use this everywhere. Uh, I'm only going to use it where the wax is. And then I use uh, Orpine wax. It's a pH neutral. I'm sorry, soap. And this will uh, remove whatever residue is left behind from the hydrogen peroxide and the mildew stain remover. So uh, this chlorine based will eat your fabric. Uh, this will neutralize the chlorine. Uh, and this will get everything back pH balance. Uh, so we're going to need a bucket and a little brush to agitate the product. Um, and then a rag to wash everything down. So let's head back up to the boat. All right, we're gonna test it right here. I've got everything going on right here. I've got the pink mold, I've got this spotty mold, and then I have these blotches that you can see more predominantly over here. Uh, so this will be a good test of pretty much everything to see if it's even worth applying the chlorine to these blotches. I don't personally think it is, but we'll see. I most of all just wanna get rid of this here. So first we're gonna apply this uh, Marine 31 product to just the, uh, just the, oops, just the top of the cushion here. And that's supposed to sit for a couple minutes. A brush, agitation brush. I do have water, water hose here going on. So we're just gonna let that sit. I'm gonna speed up the film here and record the whole thing. We'll see what happens. Alrighty, well, that didn't go as planned because the GoPro battery died, but you can see it removed all of the um, little mold spots and it did not do anything about the pink mold right here. I don't know if you can even see that and it did not do anything about this blotching. So if you have any idea what that is, please um, leave it in the comments, because I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm just gonna I have to live with it, uh, but it is a blotchiness, and it looks way worse on camera than it does in real life, but it's literally everywhere. It is everywhere. It's really unfortunate but it is what it is. Okay, so since the camera died and I totally beefed that, I'm gonna remove this right here. You can see that mold. I'm gonna remove that in the same way. Uh, so I'm just gonna set the, set the camera up and uh, this time I got a brand new battery. So stay tuned. All right, let's try this again. So I'm just going to take the Marine 31 product, Marine 31, and I'm just gonna spray it on here. I do try to make a make it so that 
I don't get streaks with the chlorine by just misting it underneath. And we're just gonna let that sit until it starts to disappear. Okay, while we're uh, waiting here, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm just putting a, a spray basically everywhere that I have this particular type of mildew. So this spot ended up taking over an hour to clean. I decided to go ahead and clean the helm chair next to it. I'm going to show you that now, but don't worry. At the end of the video, I give you a before and after and show you the rest of the work on this spot. So this chair is, uh, this chair is completely done. Right here, you can see that uh, this chair still has a little bit of staining around there, but uh, the staining that was on this chair is completely gone. So I'm just gonna turn this to the uh, side here. And I'll show you uh, the rest of what I do with it while that is sitting for even longer. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse it. good coat of hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to be sure to get in all of the threads where I sprayed the pro oh man there's some there's some mold right here that's going to have to get taken care of. I didn't see the mold right here. That's annoying. Well I'll go ahead and treat treat everything everywhere that I put the uh, spray I want to treat with hydrogen peroxide and you'll notice that the um, the chlorine smell disappears immediately you actually can smell the hydrogen peroxide over the chlorine and we're just gonna let that sit so that we neutralize that product uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more spray over here. And a little more spray here. A little bit more right here. Go ahead and turn this up. Make sure I'm not missing any spots, which I'm not. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray this right here. And uh, you can see it foams up. The, the combination of the chlorine and the hydrogen peroxide wants to foam up a little bit. Almost gone. And I'm just going to retreat that. Retreat that spot right there. So I'm going to rinse off the hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to reapply a little chlorine here where I missed that spot. Put a little bit more chlorine over here. It's really amazing how long that is taking. I think we're at about 12 minutes. And um, I went ahead and treated some of this area back here. So I'm just gonna set this up right here. And go ahead and wash, wash all this down.
All right. Everything's got a nice coat of uh, hydrogen peroxide on it. Now I'm going to uh, rinse it and wash it. And these spots, this is almost completely gone. This is better. This was by far the most stubborn and it's, it's still there. So I'm gonna keep at it. This is completely clean, completely clean. All of this is now completely clean. You can see the pink mold is still there after all that chlorine. To my point earlier in the video, pink mold still there. Uh, so stay tuned for a new video, but uh, I'm gonna keep working on this spot it's been at least 20 25 minutes that i've been working on this and you can see it's almost completely gone there's still some brown staining in here so i'm just going to keep applying and uh eventually it's going to go away i think i'll start to uh, dry the uh, cushions and treat them i treat everything with uh, 303 so once everything's clean and dry give it a nice coat of 303 stuff uh, the way I, inst I do this is I spray it on, I leave a nice thick coat, uh, try to uh, let it penetrate, you know, a, a penetrating coat for, I don't know, an hour or so, and then I buff it off with a dry towel. It seems to make it last really long and uh, really get a good treatment. Anyway, back to this. Well, that was by far the most effort I put into cleaning mold. Um, I'll put a before, so here's before. And here's after. There's a little bit of staining right here that you can barely see. And um, I have no idea if I just kept going. I mean, I've been at this for an hour. Uh, then I came over it with hydrogen peroxide, and then I uh, did a uh, vinyl cleaner. This product, leather and vinyl cleaner, made by Chick. Not sure where I got that, but I was just looking for just any kind of ammonia-based cleaner, just to introduce another chemical to see if we could get that staining out. And um, the only thing I didn't do is uh, put the bleach on it with the hydrogen peroxide and let it foam. Let's see if that works. I'll try that real quick here. Set the tripod up and, and there we go. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of uh, the bleach base cleaner and then put some hydrogen peroxide right on top of it and you'll see you get that foaming effect. I'm gonna go ahead and So you chemists out there know what's happening right now. I do not, uh, but I'm sure it's producing some gas I shouldn't breathe. And let's see if that extra... That little bit of extra foaming, oxy-cleaning goodness, whatever the hell's happening, makes any difference at all. It really didn't, it didn't matter. So I'm gonna go over it with peroxide again, just to make sure that I'm neutralizing any chlorine. And that's pretty much an instant reaction, so I don't see any foaming. Uh, interesting enough, when I would do that, I would see some foaming in the, in the thread. That's telling me that I'm getting rid of that chlorine. Rinse it, soap it up with that or pine, any pH neutral soap will work. Because I just really don't want anything to continue to eat away at my vinyl.
Give that a rinse. much better than it was really incredibly better all right well got to do the rest but that is how I clean vinyl you can be guaranteed that's not going to continue to eat away there we've neutralized all the chlorine we've cleaned it as best we can threads aren't going to rot out it's kind of probably a once a year type of vinyl cleaning but thanks for watching and as always please subscribe see ya